What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Solicitor's Training. Solicitor's Training is a series which I've created on YouTube, which intention is to expand what I've learned and researched throughout my years of training and throughout my years of, as a personal trainer. So in this episode of Solicitor Training, we will discuss how we ease into our regular training regimen if they've been locked down for months. Because I know some people, they might not be wondering how to actually approach the training regimen if not being following it for months. Now, especially with the compound, with the conventional compound lifts, it is very, very important to pay attention to how much weight we are lifting. Because I know some people can be very eager to just go down the gym and try to attempt their previous rep max, but obviously you will not be able to lift the same amount of weight you did before this whole lockdown thing. If you haven't been following a consistent strength training regime, and the same goes with one's diet. If you're being too eager about losing the weight you have gained by just dropping a huge amount of calories, it would just cause metabolic issues, harming your metabolism and making it even more difficult to lose weight in the future. Easing into your diet by gradually making small changes each week is crucial for longevity. So how should you ease into a training? So first off, most of us have already heard about mind-muscle memory. If you don't know what muscle memory is, muscle memory happens when you start training after not have been following a consistent training regimen for months or weeks. That is when muscle memory occurs. But why does it happen? When you work out and eat a high protein diet, follow a consistent training regimen, of course you will get stronger and you will get bigger. And as you get stronger and bigger, you have small nuclei in your body which will be added onto your muscle. And as you soon stop working out for weeks, for months, your muscles might get smaller, but the nuclei in your muscle will never disappear. So when you follow training regimen again after some months, because the nuclei in your body, muscles will increase in size and in strength way faster than the first time you got it. So when you start your regular training regimen, obviously you should not start attempting the previous PR you did before this lockdown, and especially if neural connection is not kept with consistent strength training during the lockdown. So instead of approaching a gym the first day with 80% of your previous RM, which most likely would cause you to reach muscular fatigue, and you will also get mentally drained because your expectation was not met, instead do 60% of your previous RM, four sets of six reps. Each week you will increase the percentages by additional five to 10%. An example would be, the first week you will do 6% of your previous RM, the second week you will do 65-7% to of your previous RM, the third week you will do 7-75% to of your previous RM, and the last week you will do 75-80% to of previous RM. After those 4 weeks, you will most likely, in most cases, have reached the point you left off before the lockdown, and without putting too much fatigue on your body. This approach would also be more efficient for muscle memory and muscle recovery by slowly increasing the volume each week of your workout session. Since also a lot of the compound lifts require a lot of work from the posterior chain, especially the squat and the deadlift, it is very important to activate your posterior chain again. And since also most movement that involve the posterior chain, the central nervous system comes into play. It is then very important to stimulate and activate your posterior chain again after taking time off to prevent injuries. The previous approach, as mentioned, is a way to stimulate your posterior chain and achieve neural connection before moving into heavy lifts. Take a look at this study done by Ogasawara and colleagues, where they took 14 young men and randomized them into two groups. Both groups were put in the same high-intensity training program of three sets of 10 reps, three days per week. The first group performed heavy resistance training for six weeks straight and then did three weeks of detraining where they reduced their workload and volume. The second group trained continuously with no detraining at all. The result after 24 weeks, muscle size and strength were identical. This study can also be applied to this approach. Instead of going to the gym and going crazy for 12 weeks straight, gradually increasing the volume as you were coming out of the deload would have the exact same result, but would be a safer approach to prevent any injuries. There's another study done by Brett Schoenfeld and Brett Contreras and colleagues where they randomized 34 healthy resistance trained males into three groups, one low volume group where they did one set per exercise per training session, one moderate volume group where they did three sets per exercise per training session, and one high volume group where they did five sets per exercise per training session. This study was done three times a week for eight weeks straight. The results show that all groups achieved increased strength and muscle size with no significant in-between group differences. Of course, the high volume group did achieve a bit more progression on the biceps and the quads. 
What this tells us is we don't need to do an insane high amount of volume to achieve muscle size and achieve strength. We could do it with modern volume, especially when we have muscle memory in play, you can achieve a good amount of progression just with a moderate type volume. Thanks guys for watching this episode of Solicitor's Training. I do hope when your gym opens back up with the help of this info, you will get back to where you left off before this whole lockdown. You to have patience and trust your muscle memory because you will get back to where you left off within a couple of weeks. Use your common sense. Don't go into the gym the first day and start going crazy. Your body adapt. Your neural connection adapt to the high amount of workload. Because if you have only used resistance bands or bodyweight workout for these past couple months, body needs to adapt. It needs to adapt to the heavy amount of workload. If you, you can't go in and start smashing PRs. You will get injured and you won't be able to work out again for weeks. So what's the point in that? Let your body adapt. So guys, subscribe, like this video. This more episode of the solicitor's training will come out.